Hey folks, Scott Grove here. I'm uh, going to do some rhythm stuff today. Uh, rhythm is always the foundation and usually the most important part of guitar playing. We all love to play leads, but not everybody's going to be great at it. And uh, rhythm is a lot of people's wheelhouse. So today I'm going to concentrate on doing the major scale and showing you how you can play rhythm uh, with different chords all majors and minors uh, within like one chord. So I'm going to be showing it in G, do a slight bit of transposition uh, later on here during the short lesson. And um, we'll do stuff like this. In G, it's going to be, um, like I'm going to show you, so you can get out of here if you already know it. I'm um, just going straight up the G scale, but the chords will be major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, minor, and when you hit the next major, you're back to one or you're where you started out. So back to the G chord. So again, major, minor, minor, uh, major, major, uh, minor, minor, back to major. So you've probably done it a million times but you probably haven't thought about it in the way I'm actually going to teach it. So um, here's a little example of what I'm talking about, how to play rhythm using this kind of stuff. I'll make uh, more sense out of it here in a little bit. So stuff like... <laughs> Yeah, sounds like 80s rock, but um, country, uh, pop, rock, whatever. It's just a basic idea. So stick around with me and uh, we'll cover this. Be groovy. Here we go. Okay, thanks for sticking around for the full lesson. I won't make it too long, drag it out. Um, as always, I like to show the guitar that I'm playing in the lesson. This one here is an older Paul Reed Smith. Uh, P-R-S-S-E-E-G, um, done in a Budweiser motif. They did this three single coil model. Uh, of course, with these graphics, then they did a humbucker model with different graphics. Um, you can see we even have Budweiser on the headstock. Okay, these are a set neck. Three singles and everything like a strap. The grooviest um, bridge. Um, you don't need it adjusted. It's perfect the way it is <laughs> and always will be. Just a set screw behind here and behind here. Just bring it back and forth to where you need it. All groovy. And one of the lightest guitars out there is five and a half pounds. Um, I've got a couple few of these. Um, just great axis. Uh, you'll notice, last thing on these, I swear, uh, we have dots instead of birds for the inlays. And if you turn it at the right angle, you end up with what look like moons. It's kind of cool how they did that. So, beautiful, huh? Okay, so we're doing a major scale right up the neck. Um, okay, so in the key of G, that simply turns out to be open G on the G string. That's what we're going to go by on the entire thing. So, open, 2nd fret, 4th, 5th, 7th, ninth, 11th, and 12th, back to 1. Okay, so as I had said, we're going to do an open chord, which uh, everything on here is going to be the D, G, and B string. And so, no exception, the open G want to make the uh, full chords later on after I show you this um, by all means do so that's uh, your guitar and okay so there's number one okay the next two are minor so we go to that two and the four like I said but you just make your minor 
chord there, so A minor. Up two frets to your B minor. So you have the next two are major. So we just go to fifth and fret. Fifth and fret, yeah. Major again. Add the seventh fret. Now we build off of the ninth fret, make another minor. So this is actually E minor. Up two more frets. <laughs> uh, you'll kind of see a pattern here. So minor, minor. Okay, that's an F sharp minor. And then finally, you're right there for the 12th fret for your major. So again, major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, minor, and back to major. Okay, so what I was simply doing was uh, hitting like the ma major and then a minor and a minor and then working around that. Okay, this is for anything, writing songs, what have you. You can play these things while you're in G. So the band's grooving along in G or whatever. <laughs> of the G chord okay um, then you can go up to your four chord and your five chord meaning your C and your D you always have G C and D together so your C is at the fifth fret major and the seventh fret major for your D chord so so see how cool that is you're coming off your five chord your D chord in country, uh, basic stuff if you're You've heard this from me before Major, major, minor, mate, minor, major, so So as simple as that in the rock and pop vein. Okay, um, from the D, I like to actually go up to the next minor. Okay, which is the one we build off of the ninth fret. Because it gives you that. songs uh, built off of that. Um, it'll sound familiar. Why? Because it's great. And it follows this whole uh, set of rules here. Um, so off of the D chord, doing two minors. Okay, you can go anywhere with it. Um, to finally the G, okay? So you can see how it all uh, glues together here. Um, you can make full chords out of these. And again, I'm doing everything just in uh, the pattern where we do them all on the same three strings. Uh, you can put them anywhere if you know your chords. This just shows you the basics of how to put it together. So if I was in D, <laughs> Then we're getting ready to add that minor that I like, the E minor. So you could do D as a bar chord here. Or you could even... So that
that way if you're doing other stuff like in the key of A, you follow the same deal. You can just do a bar chord. And if you don't know your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that's too bad. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, minor. So major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, minor. And then major. Okay, so uh, you can figure out those chords and go, oh, okay, I see. It's A. The next two are B minor and C sharp minor. Then D and E. F sharp minor. G sharp minor and A again. And that will teach you how all this stuff goes together. Okay, so it's a matter of, again, only knowing that it's major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, minor, then finally major again. Okay, so that's basically all you need to know. Uh, play around with it, have fun um, coming up with your own stuff. Um, tunes that follow this, you'll have heard um, this, you know, riding the storm out. <laughs> The G minor, minor, major. Um, so you've got a. Um, um, a million songs that use those. Um, too many to name, but. Again, just have a blast with them. Simple stuff to remember. And again, to get the most out of this, use your um, full chords, you know, like I had shown you in the A. And sometimes, you know, like in this G thing, it's nice to use just the stuff that's on those three strings. You can just go up there and get two or three of these chords if you happen to just simply be in the key of D. Um, you don't have to do, okay, I gotta do the D chord, then I gotta go to E minor, and then F sharp minor. Unless it's a slow tune or something, it might sound better that way, but you can just go right to the D and then go minor, minor. Okay, or whatever floats your boat. Uh, you've got the song in your head, I don't. Okay? So, you guys stay groovy. You know how Scotty is. He always is groovy. And I'll catch you on the next lesson. Hope you found that useful. Take care. Bye-bye.